Uh, we've made some difficult decisions over the past few months. And after years of failed policies that have dragged our economy into the ditch, we still have many more difficult decisions ahead. The next big decision will be for Republicans and Democrats working together on a final version of the jobs bill. Now we have an opportunity to really focus on a bill that will rebuild our economy from the ground up by putting Americans back to work right now. The jobs bill that we passed yesterday creates jobs, up to four million of them, and saves many, many more by investing in our roads and our bridges, our water systems, energy facilities, and our schools. This is a long-term infrastructure that will support our economy for generations to come. The jobs bill also invests in what matters, people, by investing in health care and in education, by putting cops on the street. Mr. President, where I come from, we call things as we see them. The word stimulus is a Washington, D.C. word that doesn't mean much in my book. That's why from day one, I've called this the jobs bill, because that's exactly what it is, a jobs bill. You're either for jobs or you're against jobs. And every day, we hear of layoffs by the tens of thousands. Unemployment numbers are skyrocketing. Businesses, even entire industries, are being forced to call it quits. The national housing slump is taking its toll on Montana's timber industry. The Columbia Falls Aluminum Company is at risk of closing its doors after decades of being a major driver in the economy of the Flathead Valley. And the Stillwater Mine has laid off hundreds of its employees. Montana's employment rate jumped from 4.9 percent in December to 5.4 percent last month. That's an increase in one month of a half a percent. Mr. President, Madam President, the numbers are grim and they are real. Now is the time for Congress to vote for jobs. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words. This picture is worth much more than that. It's a picture that I came across in the Whitefish Pilot the other day. It was taken by a guy by the name of David Erickson. The man in this picture is standing on a street corner in Whitefish, Montana. He's holding up a cardboard sign that reads, Work Needed. He is someone that I represent in the United States Senate. He is one of the 950,000 Montanans that I am proud to call my boss. And his story is the story of millions of Americans right now. Mil millions of Americans who either don't have a job or who went to work today wondering if they will be the last day on the job. Millions of Americans are wondering how to, they're going to be able to continue to put food on the table for their families or to pay the mortgage or pay for medicine or pay for child care. Madam President, we're not talking about a few folks who drew a short stick. We're talking about millions of Americans who are in the same boat as this guy in the picture, folks who are paying the tough price for the failed economic policies of the past. Now, some D.C. politicians say we don't need to pass a jobs bill because the current recession is only temporary. I asked you to tell that to the guy standing on the street in Whitefish, Montana. Tell that to the unemployed woman who wrote me to say that she's willing to sweep the streets with a broom if we'll give her a job. These are proud folks. They don't want unemployment checks. They want paychecks. Madam President, right now, work is needed. That's the task ahead for my friends in the House and the Senate who are working on the final version of this jobs bill. We need jobs, jobs, and more jobs. We don't need politics as usual. Now is not the time for Congress to be against jobs. It really is the time for Congress to work together to put folks back to work by investing in America.